What's going on there guys? Good evening. Good Sunday evening. It is the Earth Master here on this beautiful April 10th evening here in California. 2022 is the year. Uh, about uh, yeah, 6.20 p.m. California time. Latest quake uh, shows a 1.2 earthquake. Not for sure why the one-pointers keep popping up. Uh, more interested in this 4.8 that just struck here a few minutes ago along the Kermadec Trench. Finally starting to see uh, some activity in this area that we've been looking for. Uh, following all that deep movement in the Fiji Islands area a couple days ago and also the subsequent uh, uh, shallower earthquake off to the northwest here. There's that 4.8 striking in the area of the Kermadec Trench about 35 kilometers below the surface. Uh, this here is uh, not a big earthquake at all. Um, I'm still thinking that we should see something a little bit on the moderate side uh, here pretty soon uh, just with all the adjustment that we've been seeing around the Pacific Plate. Uh, this area right here is just kind of primed for it so keep an eye on it this could be a little a uh, little jump or a little first quake uh, for uh, possibly a couple more moderate quakes coming into the region tonga fiji islands area pretty quiet for now at least in this area did have some movement over here in the papua new guinea area earlier uh, prior to this uh, earthquake down here in the kermadec trench uh, some movement up around the Mariana Trench, where we've seen some deeper activity here, 249 kilometers for this uh, 4.8 that struck earlier uh, this morning uh, off the coast of Japan. A couple earthquakes up there as well. Uh, we've seen one more 4.9 deep earthquake, the latest in this area uh, from Japan southward into the Indonesia region with a 4.9 at uh, 117 kilometers. Some older movement here around the Andaman Sea. See a little pair of uh, quite a few fives actually, uh, a trend, five magnitude earthquakes there, uh, 4.5 mixed in there as well. Still uh, watching this region for some possible large scale movement, but I think right now uh, the primed area that we're looking at is down here in the Tonga Trench southward to New Zealand. Uh, Southeast Indian Ridge had a couple small quakes here, well moderate for this area it looks like, 4.8 and 5.1. Uh, that happened earlier this morning within about uh, oh, a few minutes of each other. Uh, over here around the uh, Madagascar area, we had, had a, uh, excuse me, a 4.4 come in. Pretty shallow earthquake. Don't recall too much in terms of earthquake movement out here uh, in historical times. I do want to check this out and see if, uh, see what they got out there. Far as uh, historical data goes, Looking on the map here, we're not, uh, let's see if we can zoom in here. Not a whole lot of earthquake activity out here in this region. Looks like maybe a couple ones since about 1900, but it's not active uh, in terms of earthquake activity all that often, at least in this area. Uh, looking at the movement here further west into the African continent, pretty quiet throughout the area, at least 4.0 and above. Some movement up around Greece and Turkey uh, earlier this morning as well. Uh, South America region seen a uh, 5.0 this one was late last night so we haven't seen anything uh, since then along the Peru Chile Trench a little swarm of activity continues in the Puerto Rico area looks about the same as last night uh, no major movement uh, throughout the day today a couple of twos and threes in the area and some movement off the coast here uh, of Guatemala and inland into Guatemala, just off the coast of Mexico here. A couple fours kicking off here. One of these pretty deep. Look at that, 165 kilometer deep earthquake there uh, for that 4.4. Middle America Trench, definitely a major player in the slip rate. High slip rate, short amount of time to accumulate. Uh, could see some uh, larger earthquakes here pretty soon in that region, no doubt. Uh, what do we got here in the all magnitude scale? Well, not a whole lot along the west coast i can definitely say that uh, up here around medford we did see a earthquake a 2.0 in the mountains near butte falls oregon 14.3 kilometers that was way earlier this morning and some movement off the coast of northern cal this morning as well really not a whole lot has happened throughout the day today most of this some older movement uh northern and the central part of california just a little on the quiet side same for the Southern California region, just uh, some sporadic earthquake activity on the San Jacinto fault zone 
and one earthquake over here near the Fallbrook area. But overall, things are not uh, not all that active here in, in the California area. Some movement uh, north of Mexicali on the Imperial Fault, but overall, man, look at that. Not a whole lot, including the Intermountain West regions. Uh, normally we see a little bit of swarming up here through Utah and the Cedar City, Utah area. Not a whole lot going on there today or yesterday. Um, Wyoming, Yellowstone National Park. Let's go ahead and check out this area real quick and uh, see what we got here on the map. There is a little bit. See this activity here? Uh, that was kicking up here this morning. Uh, over the last few hours, though, things have kind of mellowed out. But yeah, there was definitely a pretty good uh, handful of earthquakes that popped off uh, early this morning and, and uh, early afternoon. Nothing major, but definitely a pretty good sequence there for a little bit around the Maple Creek area. Looks like that's uh, the epicenter. And it is showing up around the other seismograph stations there, which tells me that this is indeed seismic activity. It's well-defined. And there's probably a good 20 or 30 earthquakes uh, I'm sure all under 2.0 uh, that occurred earlier today in Yellowstone. USGS not showing anything on the map, on the all magnitudes map. None of this is from uh, uh, today. That's all from late last night. So uh, it is Sunday. USGS, uh, you know, probably get to it tomorrow morning. We'll see what they have to say about that. Uh, backing out of here. Backing out, backing out. Uh, Oklahoma, some severe weather potential up there tonight. Or over there, I should say, around Tulsa. Got some uh, supercells that are going to develop up there. Uh, one little earthquake here in the uh, close to the Woodward area. Looks like uh, 7.1 kilometers for a 1.9 earthquake out there. Eastern part of the country, all in the clear for now. Not a whole lot going on. Alaska, some movement on the. Uh, well, what do we got here? A couple fours kicking off here along the Aleutian Trench area. Pretty shallow though within this region. It is a subduction zone, but uh, this activity uh, at the surface. And a little bit of movement north of Anchorage and up through the Denali area. Even Fair Fairbanks uh, got a couple small microquakes. Up through the Alaska Range. Beautiful country up there, no doubt. Uh, so, over, uh, other than that, man, there's not a whole lot going on worldwide. Let's check out Hawaii real quick. Even here, not seeing too much in terms of the. Uh, of uh, earthquake activity 2.4 the latest here in the last hour 34 kilometers here deep movement continues Mauna Loa some microquakes up here at the very summit or the uh, crater area very shallow surface quakes one negative 1 1.2 uh, for some of those uh, very small quakes there at Mauna Loa checking out the trimmer map tonight we'll go ahead and check this out and see what uh, is being reported of course man I don't know if I believe this number or not. You know, it's uh, after a, a pretty good week of trimmer activity. You can actually check out the last month here. Kicked up around the 21st. Had a pretty good amount of trimmer on any given day there. And then really peaked out at 104 trimmer count uh, for the 27th of March. And then it has declined here to zero again. So I'm not for sure if they're still having technical issues there on the PNSN network side monitoring the trimmer or what. But uh, the last two days have been zero in the trimmer department. Let's go ahead and check out a little bit of activity. See if uh, Mount St. Helens has gotten uh, any movement up here. We'll zoom in out here to the uh, in here to the crater and check out the uh, three component station here and see if there's any. Renewed earthquake activity there at uh, Mount St. Helens. One little quake here. You can see it there since the UTC uh, day flip. It's now the 11th on the UTC time. Uh, so yeah, just about an hour or so ago, had a little spike on the uh, seismograph. And uh, let's go ahead and see what the prior hours were throughout the day today. Hopefully. Yep, there we go. So yeah, a little bit of movement here still. A couple small microquakes there at Mount St. Helens. Nothing major going on, just some uh, very small quakes, but earthquakes nonetheless, right? Uh, definitely not showing up on the USGS map at all uh, for the uh, activity we're seeing today. Seems like they've been behind a couple days. All right, what do we got? Anything else, folks? Uh, solar weather, I think it's gonna be a lot more quieter tonight. Of course, we had that G3 unexpected storm kick up out of the blue. Thanks to, uh, uh, they believe it was a CME and also the uh, coronal or the uh, 
uh, wind speed from the coronal hole uh, from a couple days ago and also uh, helped help with the uh, tilt to the southern uh, interplanetary field to the south sometimes when it does that it definitely allows solar wind to flow right in and that's kind of what we've seen um, last night we're starting to see a little bit here of some amplified speed once again I believe here this is the uh, yeah it's the speed a little bit on the temp side as well so you might have to watch this and see if this uh, kicks up again these guys aren't really calling for much tonight but then again anyone that has been forecasting this stuff hasn't really been accurate uh, we are getting a, key, a KP index up around 3 right now and a little bit of amplification here of the Aurora so we'll see what happens overnight but uh, yeah strong G3 geomagnetic storm last night unexpected got scientists puzzled all right folks i'm gonna jump off here have yourself a good evening enjoy the rest of your uh sunday evening and it is sunday right yes it is it, for some reason it feels like it should be friday <laughs> every day should be friday right all right guys take care please stay safe out there and uh by the way i am trying to get a membership set up here on the channel um not for sure if I if I'm going to get it out this week or not or this coming week, but uh, I'm definitely going to try uh, for uh, membership. Get get a lot of perks and whatnot, some custom emojis and all sorts of cool perks when you uh, join the uh, membership program. Nothing, of course, nothing's going to change with the uh, normal viewers out here. If you don't want to join the uh, uh, membership, that's fine. That's definitely uh, nothing will change. Uh, the only thing, uh, you know, extra for the memberships will be some behind-the-scenes stuff, maybe more uh, personal interviews and stuff like that with me and Missy Mimi's here. More, maybe some more on-camera stuff. I know we're behind the mic a lot, and we just don't get on the camera too much, except for our uh, spicy noodle challenge. That was, ugh, that was horrible. But uh, I'm not going to do that again, that's for sure. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off here, kind of work on that uh, membership program thing, see if I can get it rolling out here uh, in the coming week. Take care and have a good night.